What's up guys? I got a cool project for today. It's fairly simple but it involves tapping so I'm gonna explain that tapping in detail today for those of you guys that struggle on how to tap with Torma. Um, let's, this should work but let's grab should have some clamps. Ooh. It's gonna work. What we are going to make is a sub plate for this clamp. There's going to be two slots for a half inch 13 bolts that will hold them down on a fixture. And then I can clamp something down with these clamps. The reason why I'm doing slots is so I can move these plates up and down and adjust where exactly I want my clamp to be. <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna spot drill, drill, tap 832 thread, and then we're gonna mill slot. And I'm gonna explain you what I'm doing here. We're gonna spot drill to a depth of negative 100 tau. And there is a reason for it, why I'm going negative 100 tau instead of negative 50 thousands. And now uh, let me explain you. Okay, okay guys, the reason why we're going 100 thousands because I know that 832 tap is 0.165. So if you have a hole with a diameter of 0.165, you gotta take this rate, you gotta take the radius of the hole, which is half. So 0.165 divided by 2 is. 0 0.0825. So this is the radius of the hole. 0 0.0825. This is the part, and let's say you want to bring that corner, you want a chamfer of 20,000. You just gotta take the radius of the hole, 0 0.0825, and you gotta add whatever size chamfer you want, in this case it's 20 thousands. So it will end up with 1.0.5. So your Z that Z will equal negative 0.105. If you go to that depth, you're gonna get a chamfer of exactly 20 thousands. I'm going 100,000, so I probably wound that up when I was programming. And um, it will only work with 9 degree uh, spot drills, drill mills, whatever that has 9 degree fit. I hope it makes sense. If you are spot drilling right now, we're going. 458 on RPM and feet of 20 inches a minute and then each hole we weld for a uh, half a second. So we got that spot drilling done and like I said it's gonna help guide that drill to exactly the center of the hole and then it's gonna help the tap to find its way in. Okay, drilling is done. You see that nice chamfer that I left behind for the tap? It's gonna help it to find its way in. So time for a tap now. Okay, first thing is you gotta know your tap. This is a cut tap, which we're going to use today. And this is a form tap. The difference is this tap cuts the material. And this tap pushes the material over and actually forms your tread. So, most of you have charts just like these. And if we look at our thread size, which is 832, it tells us to use tool 29.136. If you are going to use that, that drill size for this form tap, it's gonna snap. That drill is way too small for it. If you wanna use a form tap, it's best to look in the machinist book 
look for your size our size is right here 832 and it's giving you a percentage of the thread that you want if you want 75% thread which will be the strongest you gotta use drill use drill size 3.75 millimeter which I wouldn't recommend if you're new to this I would go with this with the biggest drill and the smallest thread percentage which is drill number 24 we are gonna use a retract of a quarter inch and why am I retracting to a quarter inch instead of a 50 thousandths well the answer is simple since we're using tension compression tab that tab might still be extended in the hole and while the machine will think that it's out because it reached 50 thousandths height and will try to change position which will result in snapping of that tap. So you always got to make sure you got enough clearance for the tap to actually come out of the hole before your machine is trying to change positions. The G code that we're going to use is a regular is a regular G84 G code. There's no dwell, no nothing in it. That's how I tap. And it works for me every time. We're gonna use speed of 640 RPM and a feed of 20. That's actually a double of what you might find. It's because I know it's gonna work and it's faster for me. I feel confident enough to do that. So let's see how it's gonna work. Don't ever try to tap on a single block. I'll, when we were making this fixture and I was tapping the side holes on a single block, the spindle stopped on a Z-tap, but it kept spinning, so it started pulling my pulling my tap in. Good thing I was quick enough to hit uh, escape, and it stopped, but otherwise it, it would ruin the whole fixture. So don't try to tap on a single block just to be safe. So right now I'm just gonna hit start, and we'll see what's gonna happen. Here we go. Prepping is done. See that nice chamfer we got left behind? Let's put that chamfer on. It's gonna be easier to screw in the bolt. Here we go. We got a slot done. But me being me, we got a chamfer that day too. That's the same tool that we use to uh, spot drill our holes. So what we did today, we did some spot drilling, drilling, tapping on a Tormach, these are blind holes. We got some dimples on the other side, but that's okay. And we milled out the slots for half inch 13 bolts. Bolts go in here, clamp goes on the top. Should look good. Oh, oh, one thing I forgot about. Let's see if those slots are matching our plate. Will it match the holes? Mm. Perfect. Here's one and the other. Looks good. Thank you guys for watching.